Hi, uh, this is my uh, somewhat rambling overview of the different types of batteries uh, for use in the petrol technical dive computer. I, I did another video about the uh, menu system uh, interacting with the battery types on the petrol, but this is uh, more the pros and cons of the various battery types that you'll encounter that can be used in the in the petrol. And you can use almost any type of AA battery. Uh, you might find these are called either AA or this one here is called a 14500. Um, the more technical batteries they, they typically call 14500s and, and what that means is that the uh, diameter is 14 millimeters and the length is 50 millimeters. So that's where the 14500 comes from. Um, this is a Saft LS14500. It's a 3.6 volt non-rechargeable lithium battery. Uh, very high energy density. It was used in the Predator technical dive computer and just like the Predator you get about 90 hours on medium brightness from one of these. So very high energy density. The problem is, is they're about 10 bucks and they're hard to find. Uh, you have to get them from specialty stores or off the internet. Uh, on the other end of the price spectrum is the common alkaline 1.5 volt AA battery. These cost about 80 cents Canadian, 80 cents US, uh, maybe that about half a euro. Uh, you get about 35 hours on a single battery on medium brightness in the petrol. These are a rechargeable lithium ion, uh, about 4.2 volts when fully charged. Uh, you're going to have to buy them off the internet. They're not all that common, but they're, they're good batteries. And here's another rechargeable battery type. This here is a Duracell rechargeable uh, nickel metal hydride. Lots of brands of nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. Uh, you can get them a lot of electronic stores, drug stores. They're quite common because they're often used in photo flashes. Uh, they're great for high drain applications. Now the petrol is not a high drain device. It's quite a low drain device. So you're not going to get a lot of benefits from that battery, but they're still good. Uh, again, here's another high drain kind of optimized battery. This is a photo lithium 1.5 volt battery. They're quite easy to find in drug stores, electronic stores. Uh, you get maybe 40 to 45 hours uh, per battery, but um, they are quite a bit more expensive than your standard alkaline batteries. So the uh, re that makes the recommended battery type would be the 1.5 volt AA alkaline battery. Uh, one reason is economics, and I'll explain the economics for the various battery types. And for this battery type, the alkaline battery, I bought this 20 pack of batteries just now for $16 Canadian, about $16 US, and that was not on sale, so that's 80 cents per battery at 35 hours per battery that's 700 hours of diving for $16. That's pretty good, pretty good price. You know, if, if you want to contrast that with the Saft, it being at about $10 each, you'd need about eight batteries to be equivalent. Uh, so that's about $80. Um, the, the rechargeable type batteries uh, are good if you're going to use them enough because you can recharge them so many times. Uh, for these lithium ions that I bought off the internet, uh, I bought two with a charger for about $30. For the rechargeable nickel metal hydrides, I bought four at the department store for $20 with the charger. Again, quite ec economical. And uh, these batteries, not so economical because they cost about four times as much as the regular 1.5 volt alkalines. These are the 1.5 volt lithium photo batteries. Uh, they claim, if you look at the package here, eight times the, uh, the, the life. But if you look at the back here, that lasts up to eight times longer in digital cameras. Uh, digital cameras are high drain devices, uh, especially the flashes. So you're not going to see that type of battery life improvement uh, on the petrol, which is a low, low drain device. Uh, I wouldn't recommend buying these just because the, the economics don't make sense. Not that they're not good batteries. So the clear winner there in terms of price is the alkaline battery, followed then by rechargeable battery types. Um, another 
important thing to consider is uh, the fuel gauge. Now the fuel gauge displays right here and you see on this with this battery type it, it is a true fuel gauge. I'm showing maybe about 40 percent remaining life. Uh, that's not available with all battery types. Uh, now because some batteries have a very flat voltage to discharge curve it makes it very hard to do a a good battery life indicator for them. So I'm going to I'm going to show you that here. This is a this is the SAFT LS14500 data sheet. And what this shows is the the voltage, the cell voltage versus time. And you can see it's flat 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 and then it just plummets at the end of the battery life. Uh, the reason they have ver uh, multiple curves is just different discharge rates. Uh, we would be we would be about um, 20 milliamps, so in between these two curves somewhere. Um, now, compare that to your AA alkaline type battery. Here's the discharge curve for that. See how it's a, uh, a nice sloping discharge? So that makes it quite easy to do a, a battery fuel gauge. So with the 1.5 volt alkaline battery, you're going to get a nice fuel gauge. Um, you're not, unfortunately, with the nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery. If we look at that discharge, again, it's one of these flat for most of the life and then plummeting towards the end. Um, the, the, I don't have a data sheet for them, but the lithium ion rechargeable batteries, they do have the nice uh, sloping discharge, so you do get a good fuel gauge for them. Also for the photolithium you get a fuel gauge. So you get fuel gauges for these three, the AA alkaline, the photolithium, and the lithium ion rechargeable. Other battery types you don't. So that is another consideration when buying batteries. Uh, a few uh, miscellaneous considerations is uh, one battery type you might see, I don't have any here, but that is the zinc carbon battery. Uh, these are batteries you can get uh, at dollar stores. They're like 20 cents each, super cheap. You only get about 10 to 15 hours per battery on them. So I'm not going to recommend them for the petrol. Uh, if it's all you can find on a tropical island somewhere, then that's fine. Uh, some notes about the, the rechargeable uh, nickel metal hydrides. Uh, you'll see here that this one says stay charged on it. Uh, some brands, they'll call them pre-charged, uh, ready charged, always charged, something like that. What that means is that they don't have, they don't discharge just sitting on the shelf. Uh, the older style of nickel metal hydrides had high self-discharge current. They would just go flat sitting on the shelves. So I really recommend that you try and find something like a stay charged or a pre-charged nickel metal hydride if that's what you're going to use. Um, the the pre-charged ones are going to have about 2,000 milliamp hour uh, rated life. The older style help uh, high self discharge. They were more like 2,800 milliamp hours or 3,000 milliamp hours. Uh, but don't let that fool you. They're not as good because they they just go flat sitting on the shelves. Again, if you've got them already because you use them in your photo flash, then feel free to use them. I just wouldn't recommend buying them. Uh, now for buying um, lithium ions, if, that, if that's what you want to use, these are the rechargeable batteries. There's a few brands out there, uh, Ultrafire, Trustfire, something Fire. Uh, they come out of China, they, they tend to vary in quality. People report getting a lot of duds. Uh, they claim to be 900 milliamp hours. I've never measured them that high. They're more like 700 milliamp hours. Um, a quick note about those milliamp hours. Uh, you know, remember this was 2,000 milliamp hours, but this is a uh, nickel metal hydride 1.2 volts, whereas uh, this is a 3.6 volts. They're actually more like 4 volts uh, fully charged. So the total energy stored in these batteries is actually about the same. Uh, this is not much, much higher than this. They're actually, they're actually about, give about 30 to 35 hours runtime on medium brightness. Uh, this is another brand of lithium ion rechargeable. It's the AW brand, uh, if it'll focus on that. Uh, the AW brand has a good reputation. Uh, if you go to candle power forums, uh, 
they'll talk a lot about batteries. That's where you can find links to where to buy these. Um, these are rated at 750 milliamp hours, and they actually are about 750 milliamp hours. Uh, a note about buying SAFs. Make sure if you're going to buy the SAF, you get the LS14500, not the LS14500C. Uh, the C variant is rated at lower uh, current output. It's not enough current output to run the petrol, so don't buy the LS14500C, just the LS14500. And I guess just to summarize, you know, I, I'd really just recommend the 1.5 volt AA alkaline battery. It's, it's got a good fuel gauge, it's economical, you can buy it anywhere, and they're reliable. I hope that helps when you're choosing what battery to buy for the petrol.